worry, we're not going to be cooking with kitties as ingredients. No cats will be harmed in the making of this video, even if we wanted to. In Cooking with Kitties, I'll show you that you can bake at home, even when you are, your boyfriend. are a cat lover. In fact, it can make cooking... In fact, it can make cooking... In fact, it can make cooking even more perfect. Time to meet our chefs. David is a lifelong cat lover and doesn't show any signs of stopping. He also loves novelty kitchenware. Cassandra is a master baker. She was a food vlogger before we got cats. This dashing fellow is James Bond because he's always in a tuxedo. This sassy little lady is Fluffy. I didn't name her. David insisted I name her. Today we'll be baking a traditional apple pie. You'll need a hair-free, flat surface on which to roll out your dough. With cats, making pie may seem impossible. Absolutely impossible. But with a deep clean and a little vigilance, it's easy. I'll be making the pie crust while David makes the filling. This is a simple, classic recipe. I used to make it all the time before... Work with a high-edged bowl, in case any kitties come looking for a treat. Stay sharp. You never know when a fuzzy friend will appear. Fluffy. Cat fact, Fluffy holds the world record for most hairs shed in a single day. Oh. Well, the filling is ready to go. The crust needs to chill for about 15 minutes, as does Cassandra. Now is the perfect time in the baking process to give the cats the attention they've been missing while you are focusing on the pie. Bye. Like the fictional character, this James Bond is a pervert with no respect for women's boundaries. Roll the dough out on a floured surface. If the dough starts to stick to the rolling pin, just grab a bit more flour. Cat fact! James has a dirty butthole and refuses to clean it. When you live in a cat-infested home, always make some extra dough, in case they ruin the first batch. Cassandra and I have traded jobs. Doesn't matter why. Now, remember that the key to a good pie crust is not to handle the dough too much. Oh, hey, buddy. is like cooking with a K with kitties with a K. Cat fact! The more you involve your kitties in the baking process, the fewer friends you'll have. You know, with K's it seems like we're being kooky with cats. That 
brings us to the end of our first and only episode of Cooking with Kitties. For both cats and humans, there's nothing better than digging into some good food. Only make sure not to mix up the cat food and the human food. Your significant other won't find it funny. Let's dig in, shall we? things about being a pet owner is how quickly you get used to a little extra something in your food. Uh, why don't you guys just call it cooking with cats? Like they both t start with C? 